Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. We begin with women's basketball against Bryn Mawr and junior Ashley Polera going coast to coast for the layup. Next time down the court, it's senior Sarah Dilly driving in for the layup. At number 9, it's rarely a Plays of the Week in the wrestling season without some pins from Gennaro Sermonara. So here are two from the Messiah Petrophis Invitational. He scored pins against Washington and Jefferson and Waynesburg en route to finishing in 5th place. At number 8, Eric Werheim had a great performance against Haverford, scoring 15 points. Here he scores on the alley-oop from freshman Dan Gaines. Then he scores on a tip-in, and another tip-in, and here's the nice spin move in the lane for two. Nakowski rolls out to the right side, throws on the run. He's got his man, and it is a touchdown for the Mules, as for them getting into the end zone was Thomas Murphy, as the Muhlenberg Mules take a 6 to nothing lead. And that was the first time any team had a lead against the Mountain Union football team since September 22nd. At number six, great passing by women's basketball against Washington College. First, Eva Sedai just finds a cut in Carolyn Hogg for a layup. And then it's Nye Thomas to Ashley Polera to Carly Hamilton for the baseline jumper. At number five, it's not baseball, but freshman Dan Gaines played the role of closer in the men's basketball win at McDaniel. First, he hit a runner in the lane. Then he fed Spencer Duke, Dallas Hoffman, and Nate Henty Brown for three pointers with the shot clock running down. Mules win 65 52. At number four, Mount Union came in having committed only 10 turnovers all season, but the Mules forced three. First, this fumble forced by Damon Fleming, recovered by Luke Wiley. Then it's Spencer Kieran with the interception, and then in the fourth quarter, it's Wiley forcing a fumble and recovering it. Number three is for the third place finish of the wrestling team at the Petrophis Invitational. It's best finish there in 26 years. The Mules had 10 place winners. The top ones, senior Jimmy Frattentoni second at 184 and junior Dylan Schwartz fourth at 165. At number two, jumping right into her collegiate career, it's freshman Corinne Farisi, who was named Centennial Conference Athlete of the Week after breaking the school record in the triple jump in their first career competition. And speaking of school records, the men's basketball team set a school record with 16 three-pointers in a 96-58 win at Haverford. Hitting three apiece were Michael Morreale, Dallas Hoffman, and Nate Henty Brown. Two apiece for Dan Gaines, Noah Watson, and Nicholas Chudy, and one for Matt Ganias. Watson over for back out wide open is Dallas Hoffman for three in the second half. Hoffman, this is deep three. That's all for this week. Back with more plays next week. Go Mules. Why not? This game, think he would.